Lina Shidofio, I appreciate your time today. Um, obviously, I know you're, you work with Steve Goodwin. Uh, I actually knew Steve, I sort of, uh, I, I met him when he first got into boxing. I interviewed him, obviously, it was a long time ago long now. Hair, when he had hair. <laughs> when he had hair, yeah. I'm, I'm only 30, but I can remember those days. Uh, what's it like working with Steve? Oh, it's been unreal. It's been wicked. This is why I've been with him for all my career. Like, he's, he's not missed a step, you know. He's, he's built me in the right way, you know what I mean? He's built me, he's built me very well. Uh, he looked after me and I feel like he's looked after me like I'm one of his kids, you know. And, um, you know, his family, lovely, just lovely people all around. And, um, I, you know, it's, it's ridiculous to say, oh, it's the best team I've ever had when it's the only team I've ever had. But it genuinely is, like, he's, he's to be, he genuinely looks after you, do you know what I mean? He looks after you. He does, he's not just a manager that wants you to do this, do that. He genuinely looks after you like one of his kids. No, I like him. As I said, I've known him a long time. Uh, something I want to ask, uh, me and Steve are very similar people, but we're very different from most boxing people. I'll, I'll explain what I mean. If I want to make a prediction about someone's upcoming fight, I'll just tell you to your face. I'm very straightforward. Yeah. And Steve's the same. But a lot of stuff in boxing who... Um, actually, I interviewed Eddie Hearn two weeks ago. I didn't get a chance to get into it. But a lot of people in boxing will just sort of blow smoke and they'll say yeah, this and they'll say that. But yeah. once you lose, they're not going to show you that same attention. Like for me, I just treat everyone the same. Yeah. If, if I pick against you, if you don't like it, you know. Yes. I'll give you a quick example, like with Katie Taylor. Now, I've never met her yet, but she gets very annoyed when people tell her she lost to uh, Pearson in the first fight. I don't, oh, know if, I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gets very annoyed about that. Oh, yeah, I yeah, you know that. Uh, what's your what's your sort of assessment about those sort of people in boxing where they'll treat you a certain way when you're winning, but when you're losing, they don't even want to answer your phone calls anymore. They're a byproduct of it. They're a byproduct of what comes with it, and you know, being in the light and things like that. It, you know, it, it's it's part of it. You know, what I mean, it's part of it. It's just how you deal with it. You've got to be a little bit more mature in yourself to kind of. And when I say that, I mean like being the being on the other side when people are blowing smoke up my arse and saying this and saying this and then when things maybe don't go right they turn around you just kind of got to be you got to know you got to know yourself you know what I mean you lie to everyone you never lie to yourself so like if I like how I'm trying to explain this if let's say you lose a fight and someone tells you you lose a fight you should you should, you should be at one with yourself enough to be like you know what yeah actually I did do you know what I mean yeah I mean, you know, I, I don't know if I've explained that well, but... I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to accept it. Yeah, that's what yeah, you're saying. You've got to just kind of, like, that's where you've got to kind of... is what it is, like, if they're telling the truth, they're telling the truth. I'd rather someone... I'd rather you tell me, oh, yeah, no, um... Yeah, this guy I'm fighting, he's... He's no mind. He's going to... He's coming to take your head off. There's a good chance you might lose this fight. Instead of coming here and saying to me, oh, yeah, you smoke this guy, it'll be easy. Oh, you do this, you do this. And, you know what I mean? I'd rather you just be honest with me. No, but it's a waste of time. And something I think a lot of people don't get in boxing. Um, I actually had two white collar fights in July. Uh, I lost the first one. I won the second one. It was actually my first fight in 10 years. So I'm trying to make a comeback. Oh, but sorry. what I'm trying to say though, all the two fights I had, the fight that I lost got me a lot more credit than the fight I won. Because the guy that beat me, a lot of people knew who he was. So I was getting a lot more credit from that fight, even though I lost it. And even people were saying, some of these white collar promoters are like, oh, I give you credit for getting in there with him, he was short nurse, he was a big guy. The question I'm trying to get to, a lot of fighters don't realise, if you take hard fights or fights which people expect you to lose, I think it's, it's bigger, because if you win, you're going to get the credit for it, or you can tell everyone, you lot were picking him to beat me. Mm. Even if you lose, that can turn you around, like... With me, the fight I lost, that's what turned me, like, made me start training harder. Mm. So what I'm trying to say, I, I don't, the, the problem with boxing, a lot of fighters don't want to take fights they think they'll lose. You notice that? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the fighters. I think it's more the management. The and team, yeah. So. Obviously their job is to get you as far as possible, as much money as possible, and the easiest route as possible. That's, that's, that's the aim of the game. All I've got to do is fight who's in front of me. So I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think I don't think that's got more to do with the managers than it is their fighters or anything else. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Well, I was talking a bit quickly. Um, I, I think I understand boxing quite well. Uh, I'm trying to think of a quote. Uh, oh, okay. Who was it the other day? Someone said this about uh, Usyk. 
Oh, okay, it's a, guy, it's a guy called Stacey McKinley, who's a boxing trainer. He used to train Mike Tyson. I saw the interview and he basically admitted if he was with Joshua, he was saying, I don't even know why they took the Usyk fight. I wouldn't have taken it. Mm. So I agree with you. A lot of, yeah. it's the teams more so. Mm. Um, it's not even with me. I'm not, I, I'll fight people. Yeah. But sometimes, it was, uh, I know I'm only a white collar fighter, but sometimes my trainer said like, that's not really a good fight for you. But um, all right, last question is, uh, what are some of your future plans? Obviously, I know you want to get this opponent out of the way. Uh, you've got to take every fight seriously. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of this particular fight? Uh, well, this this one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Saturday, Julio Verinozzi. Yeah, really good, really good international. Uh, Twenty fights, seventeen wins. No, really, really awkward, awkward customer. Really good boxer. Uh, switch it up. And yeah, no, we, we, we've been preparing. We've been doing all the things we need to do to dismantle an opponent like this. And uh, should be good. It should be. It should be a really good. It should be a really good fight. And it's a really good. Um, platform to be on you know yeah it's, you know, it's good I, I, i'm really excited i can't i can't really wait you know yeah. like, it's good I, I, I should be in bigger fights i should be in bigger harder fights so it's actually something i'm really looking forward to to springboard me on to next fights i'm not looking too far um, but yeah in the next 12 to 18 months is you know what i mean it's a lot more fights a lot more time contention and my name being stamped in a division but yeah right now before that saturday night um i've got to do the job well i'll finish off here yeah. i'll be honest i did actually regret asking you about your future plans since it came out of my mouth because um i remember when you fought john harding i saw that fight but the thing is you just got to focus one fight at a time you know yeah. you, you could lose tomorrow night you mm. don't want to lose but um I'll keep an eye out for you and I'll, I'll see you in future, Linus. Thank you. Thanks for your time, bro. Thank you.